I don't want your paw on me. You're very heavy. So, um, this is gonna be a rather chill video because I just wanna kinda hang out. The other day, I saw someone do a thrift wish list kind of video, and I thought that was a cool concept. I am not doing a thrift wish list, I am doing a pet play wish list, but it's the thought that counts, right? We have Gustavus here with us. Hawk is trying to harass me to play with him with his giant rope toy. We have Gustavus here. He is our emotional support squish of the day. Nobody asked for this video. I am doing this video so I don't spend money. <laughs> Thanks, hawkers. That is such good background noise. This fucking phone case. I have had this phone case on for the duration of my relationship, right? So like 10 months, right? I put this phone case on the day that I met my boyfriend for the first time. <laughs> and uh it's not holding up well. Ever since I started like I don't know. I don't know when this started happening, but it's just, it's peeling and it pisses me off. It's not really related to anything that I'm talking about, but it's making me angry. So this is going to be like solely pet play related stuff. It's just going to be pet gear, that sort of thing, because there's a lot of other stuff that I can't talk about on here. And I can make a video about that stuff, but it would not be on here. The first thing on my pet play wish list is a pair of black bunny ears. Like solid black, simple. I'm very particular. I haven't come across very many that I think I will like on my head. And if I have, they have been um 200 fucking dollars. And like, yeah, I've spent $200 on ears before. Currently, I do not want to do that because I am trying to um, move into a new house and that is very expensive for a pair of ears that I'm not even sure if I'm going to like. All of the ears that I've spent a lot of money on have either A, been a shape that I know that I like or B, are from a shop that makes multiple similar shapes that I know that I like. Bunny ears are very risky. I have my one pair from Opal Luna Shop and they are incredible. They are so perfect. If I could get like a solid black pair secondhand because I don't think that shop is really active anymore and there were some some things that were going on with like shipping times. Um, if I could get a solid black pair of either like Opal Luna or like or a light bunny ears, I would be very happy. There was a pair on Depop the other day, but they had like bedazzling on them and I was like, no, I just want solid black, solid black. There's been a couple of small shops that have made really cute pairs too, but I just haven't been, they've always popped up when I wasn't trying to spend money at the moment. Um, So it's really rough, bro. It's really rough. I love buying pet play gear and just like gear in general but it has to be at a time where i can justify the purchase you know sorry if you hear background noise my heat is kicking on so the next thing on my pet play wish list would be a matching chest harness and a matching tail harness there is a shop on instagram called the kink co and they make the cutest stuff i have ever seen i'm telling you this shop is incredible. I, I follow a couple people that have ordered multiple things from them, but they make such cute biofin gear. It's insane. Um, I'm basic. I just want like an all black chest harness and an all black tail harness, and I would be good to go. Next thing would be a black collar with gold hardware, like the one that I'm wearing now. This one is from the kitten collection. I talked about it in my pet play gear favorites video that I just did. It's the last video on my channel. I can link it if you want to see that. Um, basically, I just want this exact collar but with gold hardware because I have a bag that matches this like so perfectly, but it's in gold. It's black and gold. And there's just a lot of 
pieces that I have and like jewelry pieces and whatnot that would match a collar with gold hardware a lot better um and since I wear this every single day I don't think it would be a bad investment to get a second one but in gold so yeah the next thing it's really simple just a long fluffy black cat tail I am not a huge tail person I have lots of them but you never see them because I never wear them I own ears that are parts of sets but I don't really wear the tails unless I am taking content um, I wore a tail out for Halloween I think because I'm more comfortable with tails when I'm standing okay if you're a puppy player you will understand my struggle but curled puppy tails do not sit straight they do not stay straight when you're playing they do not stay straight when you're even moving around they just don't sit right on your butt you have to constantly adjust them and it's really really irritating I would wear my puppy tails so much more if they didn't have to constantly be adjusted um anyways so the one tail I do want is like a floor dragger black cat tail the next thing which is in that same little category of like furry stuff like fluffy gear um I want a set of paws now you might be thinking uh aren't you a pet player rather than like a furry and my answer to you is yes I'm not a furry. I get very irritated when people think that I'm a furry instead of a pet player. Even though it's in my hashtags, it's in my bio, it's in everything, right? Um, but I just want some like little like slim, either fluffy paws, not like super big and animated like the fursuit ones, but like just like slim little ones. Um, there was an Etsy shop that was making some that I thought were really cute. It's the first time I've actually liked paws. Um, there's also leather ones, which I really like. But, of course, they're more expensive because they are sturdier and made out of leather. Leather? Leather. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. That's probably not very high up there on the list. It's just one of the things that I eventually want to get if I have money to throw around just pet things <laughs> so along a similar like vein I want the pet restraints that make it so that you can crawl around on your knees and your elbows um I'm more comfortable with the ones for my knees just because I am very susceptible to pain like uh not like pain like ooh kinky but like pain like body pain and I feel like the ones for my elbows could pose an issue with my neck and maybe my chest but I'd be open to trying them um and I don't know if they there's probably places that sell the separate pieces but um it is something that I've had an interest in for a while um quite expensive but not out of the question the next thing a solid black biothane leash just like a long black biothane leash with nothing on it just plain and simple plain and simple i have a leash that is really short and then i have a leash like a dog leash that is specifically for me um but it is a bungee cord i don't know how to explain that it's like it's got like this stretchy part that allows you to pull on the leash without getting immediately like jerked back. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It doesn't feel right on. So I haven't used it much. I've used it like two times. So I just want to get a plain one to match all my other stuff. Most likely from the kitten collection because I, I'm, I'm a hoe for the kitten collection. This, this next one, this next one is the coolest thing I've ever seen. One, when I learned about their existence and like just, I, when I figured out that they were made into like a BDSM color, I was shook and I was like, oh my God, I need one of these. So I either, preferably both, um, but I either want a posture collar or 
a Heretics Fork collar. Um, so if you don't know what a Heretics Fork is, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's basically this, like a bar that's like this long and it goes right here and it has these two prongs that will go into your chin, like right under your chin and into your chest. So basically you're stuck like this because if you put your head down, the things will go into here and be uncomfortable. Um, so they were actually used as like a not so nice device in the olden days. Um, but now they make BDSM safe versions that you can use and play. And I think they are really cool and interesting. And I would love to try one. Um, <laughs> so yeah. The next thing is just a pair of knee pads. There is a place that makes knee pads for people that strip, people that work in clubs, you know, um, or just do like pole dancing, but like we all know where that came from. And they make ones with like cute designs on them. I think I'm just gonna end up getting a black pair. Um, reason being, I don't wear color. I don't wear fun stuff. I buy fun outfits thinking I'm gonna wear them. No. I wear the same thing every day. Like this is a black tank top. I'm wearing black jeans, black collar, black ears. I wore black shoes today too. Like, I'm not fun. I'm basic. And I'm very boring. So. <laughs> Next thing is a puppy style collar and maybe puppy style cuffs if I end up getting it from a shop that does those. Um, the Kitten Collection is a very good example. They make really cute puppy collars. They have like the big buckles. Um, they use metal buckles. They have metal buckles in all the colors you can also get plastic ones but like metal buckles and they have really pretty velvet colors i almost need to make sure that i do get a velvet puppy collar because my neck is super sensitive i honestly that's why i can't do ribbon collars i also think ribbon collars are very much exclusively for pictures and like that's not very useful for me so um you know like i'm a content creator but i also like, I don't just wear these when I'm taking pictures, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want my gear to be purposeful and useful outside of Instagram and other things, you know? Um, but yeah, I really want to get a puppy collar. I don't think I have any. Most of my collars are, like, just thin. And a lot of them are more decorative. Like, I have Swarovski crystal ones. I don't wear those during like pet stuff because they're just they're very decorative and not really made anymore um so yeah the last thing on this list is very shop specific i want a human pet play muzzle from the kink co so if you don't follow them i highly recommend following them on instagram they are awesome the shop owner seems super sweet and everything it's a loud ass truck um the shop owner is super sweet everything that they make is just so cute the reason i came across them is because they make human pet play muzzles and they make them in all sorts of different colors different shapes they have different like sizes of the cage and they are so cute. I want one so bad. I honestly think that's the next thing that I'm going to pull the trigger on. Um, they are a little expensive, but for the effort that goes into them, I understand. Um, and they're pretty heavy duty. They're made out of biothane. Everything is made out of biothane. Um, that, that's my pet play gear wish list. Most of this you will probably see in either unboxing videos or just like monthly favorites videos or like collection videos in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it was a little bit different. Um, if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm hoping to do some more uh, like vlog kind of videos eventually maybe like a little pet play vlog 
things, especially once we move and I get a little room set up for the, everything, you know, the, 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 we do some stuff. Um, because right now I don't really have, like, a solid space for that. Everything is just everywhere. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!